गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग रश्मि काकरा यस सर काकरा अच्छा हाउ डू यू प्रोनाउंस योर नेम रेशमिक सर रेशमिक रेशमिक काकरा 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 इज माय नेम रेशमिक जनरली अ लेडीज नेम यस सो What is happening uh, in Ukraine nowadays? Sir, sorry. Ukraine. U- U- What do you know about Ukraine? Ukraine nowadays. Ukraine, sir. Sir, it is actually uh, an international issue which has been in the news uh, recently. Uh, the Russia is trying to invade uh, Ukraine's region for its economic aspects as well as uh, its uh, political aspects as well. Uh, it's been going on from the past uh, one and one and a half year, and the war is still on. Sir. The war is still going on. Okay. So. as a security chief of united nations organization yes sir uh, you have been given the task of solving the issue so yes, how do you solve the ukraine war issue so uh, first of all i I'd, i'd like to speak with both the uh, ambassadors of the country sir and first of all i'll i'll try to know what's really going on what's the real intention behind that because when you know about the ground realities you can work uh, well and uh, uh, war is definitely not an option sir according to me so i'll try to stop the war uh, as uh, effectively as possible and i'll try to solve both the issues of uh, russia and ukraine as well because uh, russia russia is trying to invade ukraine uh, not only for its uh, political reason and economical reason it also feels it has its uh, moral what, uh, what is the name of uh, ukraine president Ukraine president is Zelensky. Full name? Sorry, sir, I'm not aware of the full name. Of. And the Russian president's name? Vladimir Putin. Sir. Vladimir Putin. So you studied history also? Yes, sir. Nowadays uh, there is a lot of uh, controversy going on about uh, uh, syllabus of history in uh, uh, yes, my NCERT yes, curriculum and all that. What do you know about that? Yes, sir. Uh, as far as I know. uh the uh, the in ncert the history of moguls and uh, partly the history of moguls and also about the gujarat riots uh, it was deleted from the ncert sir so it was a uh, uh, it was a burning topic uh, in the last few days in the last uh, recent past and the opposition parties are also uh, questioning the bjp government uh, for deleting the dis- the history of moguls and uh, Uh, saying that it is a religious they have some religious motives religious motives behind doing that so you have done some uh, public administration also yes sir. some uh, name one famous thinker on public ad uh, yes sir uh, marx weber sir he is uh, one of the prominent public administrators uh, who uh, propounded some uh, theories like uh, he told about uh, the legal aspects of being uh, of being an officer of a bureaucrat and also the charisma that he should have some uh, yes sir and also he he, to, he spoke about uh, the uh, the kind of uh, the system of how uh, bureaucracy should work our uh, your uh, district is manyam yes sir manyam is so what do you mean by manyam sir manyam uh, is a word which is uh, generally attributed to the tribal people sir the tribal areas is generally known as uh, manyam yes sir so this is your first appointment as collector sir so your district is very very backward of course yes sir you have become collector in your own manyam district yes sir so what are, what will be your priority areas sir uh, as my district is uh, backward when compared to the remaining districts i'll primarily focus on the health and education sir i strongly believe that when you uh, make the right reforms in health and education then uh, not only a district sir the entire country can move forward okay sir now this ukraine war yes, is going on for what land or something else sir it is it is uh, it is uh, the war can be attributed to 
economic and as well as uh, political aspects as well sir they want the land because they want to use that area in order to uh, use that uh, uh, sea area for doing their uh, imports and exports from the nato countries sir and it is also uh, for economic aspects as well they want the economic might you think the war started for the land for both the reasons sir as far as i know uh, for both reasons for economic reasons as well as political reasons as well, land is not that important for russia because russia itself is a very big country yes and the whole you know area was belonging to russia ussr yes sir yes sir. so the they right. are not interested in the land they are interested in something else what was that please analyze that the strategic location that uh, they want to do the trades i think so the it is a strategic location for russia so if they can invade it if they can uh, include that area into russia they can do trade well and they want to become uh, they want to become the uh, superior nation uh, in the entire world so their motive is that are you sure that these are the things sir i'm not russia sure. had only one demand from ukraine based on that they gave ultimatum also and then they started the war when ukraine didn't listen to them what was that uh, there there is another uh, ethnic reason also sir uh, many uh, russian ethnic uh, origin people are there in ukraine as well they uh, proclaim that many russians are there in ukraine uh, they are like the ethnically related people are there in uh, ukraine so they uh, they say that it is our country it is our land so it is also one of the reasons sir. anthropological reason also you have you don't remember that ukraine wanted to go to west side and join nato yes sir that, that is what russia objected to that yes sir yes so that is the main reason so one should as a bureaucrat tomorrow you must understand go to the root of the problem then you can solve it yes sir. Uh, now that, that's what sir actually suppose now you are posted as a initially you will be posted as a rdo or maybe assistant collector yes, and there are land disputes in that area how you are going to solve it land disputes sir first of all i'll identify the stakeholders sir because every village will have some land disputes yes, so how you are going to solve it very amicably sir first of all uh, i'll identify this all the stakeholders sir uh, both the parties uh, and uh, uh, the really the uh, both parties involved the relatives and uh, the uh, officers who are involved in that uh, case and i'll i'll get to know the history of that land sir first of all i'll know the details of the land and i'll speak with all the parties and i'll uh, i'll ensure that no party is lost uh, the genuine party will get the right over the land sir so it's a going to be a good attempt and uh, you know about your writing what is the ng ngq what is ngq sorry sir you are written in your bio data ngo ngq sir, actually you wanted to write ngo Mm -hmm. Why did you make it? Why have you seen? Sorry, sir. This shows little bit carelessness on the part while writing. Sir. You have to be very, very careful, okay. Sorry, and certain spelling mistakes also should be avoided. So, can you write better? Can you write neat? And you have to be very, very careful while writing anything. Yes, sir. Because every word has a different meaning. Yes, sir. As I said, see, I am reading here N G Q. so you have to be very very careful so thank you very much computer should not have uh, accepted it what brigade is up is telling because you are putting computer in confusion <laughs> <laughs> you need mix lot of difference yes, yes. Um, now so just i am no, i just tell you now okay. there is a saying ऐसे रोको मत जाने दो रोको मत जाने दो इट हैज गॉट ए वेरी डिफरेंट मीनिंग यू अंडरस्टैंड रोको मत जाने दो यू अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी एंड रोको मत जाने दो सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी केयर पावर ऑफ प्रोनाउंसिएशन या प्लीज मिस्टर रेशमिक सो कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ योर नेम रेशमिक so it is actually uh, in telugu we have a word say reshmi surya reshmi means it is a race so uh, so generally we have some uh, feminine name, names as well like reshmika reshmi 
So okay. the boyish version of that name is Rich Pixel. So you are going to light up the whole world <laughs> as a civil servant. Okay. So you are a core committee member of Spreading Smiles uh, Organization. Yes, that is an NGO. Yes, sir. Okay. So there is an index by name Happiness Index. Yes, sir. Happiness index. So India uh, ranks very poor in that Happiness Index. Yes, sir. Okay. So how do you think we can spread smiles? among the people because uh, you are you are a member of spreading smiles organization also so uh, happiness uh, the definition of happiness is uh, different from uh, one person to another person so somebody wants money somebody wants peace or somebody they want any other thing like any other job any other thing so, so it uh, it differs from person to person so if we want to spread uh, smiles in in all the in all the people of india First of all, we need to identify the basic needs they uh, they want they uh, need, sir. And for we need to address all the basic needs, and also we should give them uh, the life they live to with dignity, sir. And uh, I strongly believe if the person, if the people are given dignity to live, and all that social, economic, political rights they have, then uh, definitely happiness can be achieved, sir. Okay, good. So, uh, I would like to know, Sir. suppose you are a district collector, you are going to some place, yes, suddenly you are surrounded by a big mob, yes, sir. they are all hesitating. So, how do you control, how do you manage that uh, hesitating mob? Sir, with your permission, can I think for a while, sir? Sure, sure. Sir, uh, if the mob is really uncontrollable, then as a district magistrate, I have the right to uh, implement section 144 of CRPC, sir, to, uh, to get the immediate peace and have me over there. And if the situation is uh, somewhat uh, in the line, then I'll try to uh, make them uh, calm by my communication skills, sir. I'll try to speak with them. I'll try to, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll assure them that their uh, demand is achieved either in a partial way or uh, in a complete way if possible. You know, how do you immediately control them? See, because they are all in an hesitated mood. Sir. So, they don't listen to you because when they are uh, hesitating, yes, they are not in a position to listen to anybody. So, how do you, how do you manage that uh, uh, mob? Yes, sir, uh, I can actually recollect a recent incident, sir. Mm -hmm. In Bangalore, uh, an IPS officer named uh, Chetan Singh Rathor, sir. Actually, a CA protests were going on in that area, and uh, Chetan uh, Singh Rathor, sir, he just uh, made all of the uh, mob people to sing na the national anthem, sir. So, uh, uh, he thought like when he can uh, instill that uh, a patriotic thing in that people, they may listen to him. So, it is one kind of a good idea, sir. With those kind of ideas, we can actually uh, stop them for a while, sir. Yeah, that is one way of uh, managing it. Okay, anyhow. So, nowadays uh, there are many cases uh, which are reported about uh, child abuse, yes, sir. sexual, particularly sexual harassment of uh, children. Yes, sir. So, there are many acts also like POCSO Act uh, 2012. Yes, sir. So, what measures you think will be very effective in uh, preventing this uh, child abuse? Sir, uh, again with your permission I will think for a while. Sir. Sure. Sir, uh, the measures uh, that are being uh, carried by the Indian government till date is uh, the POCSO Act, sir. And uh, along with the POCSO Act, we have uh, the Child Abuse Investigation Unit. Uh, with that unit, if the if we report them online or, or as uh, as well as offline, they'll take the immediate charges, sir. And without disclosing the name, they'll take the charges. And uh, if I want to make it very effective, then uh, I will first of all, sir, uh, any any root cause, like any social evil can be uh, curtailed with the very basic thing, sir, education. First of all, we need to educate a child, sir. We should make them aware what is a what is a sexual touch, what is a normal touch. They need to be aware 
and uh, they need to be uh, like uh, they need they need to be educated about how to speak how to detect uh, the other person has some malicious intents in him in him or in her uh, it is a basic thing sir and uh, the other thing that i can uh, recollect now is that uh, sir uh, we have uh, we have carried for carried like in ap sir i am uh, i am coming from ap so in mm -hmm. ap we have uh, an app like disha app sir mm -hmm. uh, as far as i know it is effective in curtailing uh, the sexual abuses and sexual assaults for a uh, for a uh, manageable things sir because with that app if we just shake the mobile phone then uh, immediately that uh, sms will go to the nearby police station and uh, the police will uh, reach the area within 10 minutes sir so these kind of uh, technological things and moral aspects of uh, education as well can decline uh, these kind of sexual assaults uh, in an effective way sir so do you think uh, killing the offenders by way of encounters uh do you think that will sort out the problem sir uh, according to me it is not the right solution to kill somebody like them so because sir as I, uh, what i believe is that sir when everybody every human will have that uh, sexual desire in him in him or her sir but when it is uncontrollable then we should consider them as psychologically ill so according to my ethics and also according to the indian law we should not kill somebody who is psychologically ill sir because they are they have did that kind of a uh, thing because they are psychologically ill so first of all we need to treat them sir we need to treat them psychologically and we need to make them as a, an ordinary an ordinary person and then if we explain them what are the consequences then uh, we can i think we can uh, stop these things sir okay so the government has introduced uh, agni pad scheme yes so what do you think uh, what are the reasons behind uh, introducing this scheme is it really going to help the youth or the nation yes sir uh, agnipat scheme uh, has both positive and negative aspects as well sir the positive aspects are that uh, uh, the employability issues can be addressed because india is uh, is one such nation which is suffering with a large amount of like large percentage of unemployment so with agnipat scheme uh, recruiting 45000 to 50000 uh, youth who are from 17 and a half years to 23 years of age so we can address uh, uh, the unemployment issue sir it is one uh, positive aspect and uh, the other thing is that sir uh, india though being a, a hugely populated nation we are uh, our soldiers are somewhat uh, like the percentage wise our soldiers are less in number when compared to countries like china and uh, china sir so uh, by recruiting in this way we can uh, we can uh, we can instill that kind of patriotic uh, patriotic sense in all the indian uh, indians and uh, they can feel right they can feel it as their fundamental duty so when the need arises they can definitely come into the battlefield and they'll fight for the nation sir so it is another positive thing and uh, so when it comes to the negative aspects of uh, agnipat scheme sir uh, according to me sir uh, 17 and a half to 20 years 23 years is a very uh, very important age for any uh, guy in his life so because he should, he he let he'll follow his career in many ways he'll he'll try to find his career options and he'll try to uh, follow his heart sir so if that prime age is been is being given to uh, any other purpose which is not his which is not his heart is in so then definitely he might feel that his young age is wasted sir so one uh, it is one thing which is one negative aspect sir and uh, agnipat it also uh, another negative negative thing about agnipat is that sir the experienced soldiers they may be they may feel that uh, they have been ignored because the young are given uh, given opportunities and uh, according to agnipat sir 25% of the soldiers can be recruited back so this might affect uh, the senior soldiers and they might feel that uh, their uh, career is in stake now yes. okay good thank you what could be the major reason for government to start this agni veer agni veer uh, main reason so main reason i i'm not completely sure sir but as far as i know it can uh, it can uh, address the employability issues sir major thing one of the major things and also sir uh, many other international countries like uh, south korea and uh, in past in the past america and north korea also sir these countries recruit their uh, citizens into their army this can 
this can uh, address both the employment issues and also they, they can uh, they can be instilled with that patriotic sensor so they can be uh, a citizens they can be a citizens of fundamental duties as well you must understand ours is a small village now sir we are no longer as big because the information can reach any time so the entire world is watching how much money we are spending on the defense yes sir so they want to reduce the defense expenditure yes sir that was the major reason they started this Thank and you. then they can get further employment in the civil areas italy okay, so please analyze everything and then come to a conclusion okay sir. thank you thank you thank you okay. all the best thank, thank you sir. thank, thank you, you.